For generations, the people of Palupitiya in Vilgamo suffered immensely without access to clean drinking water. The lack of clean drinking water was the main reason for kidney-related ailments that have been reported in this village, which consists of more than 250 families. Children of the Palupitiya Primary School had to navigate their daily lives without one of the most basic necessities of life, water. On the 19th of May, the government the movement brought a solution to this perennial issue. It was also an important day for the government the movement as Friday the 19th of May marked the 80th birth anniversary of the late Mr. Raj Mahendran, the founder of Gammatna. The project was supported by the IDA Soiza Trust in memory of its founder, HIH Soiza. The National Programme for Chronic Kidney Disease, operating under the Ministry of Health, consulted the project while the Sri Lanka Navy provided its technical expertise. I want to mention the founder of the Gammadda movement, Mr. R. Rajamahendran. I have served as an educator for 32 years. I have worked in seven schools. I have never had a day in my life where I have been this happy. Palupitiya has received much assistance under the gum at the movement. Not only that, they provided stationary items sufficient for a year to 22 theros of the Jnaneswara Pirivena. They work to provide shoes for our students. They have done so in the past. They provided school items without any shortage. You can ask any one of these parents. None of these students have bought these items for five years because of this. They have not even bought a pencil. Under this project, they have taken steps to provide all these items. Wilgamo can be identified as the most rural divisional secretariat in the Matale district. This is the divisional secretariat with the highest number of chronic kidney disease cases. We must admire the contribution of Gammadda to Palupitiya. By providing clean water projects to many areas, Gammadda has been a massive assistance to human life. Gammadda goes to the people who are in need and provide answers. We want to thank Gammadda for providing us with an opportunity to bring joy to the people. 
අපි ගම් මැදට ස්තුති මත් වෙනවා විශේෂයෙන්ම දරුවන්ගේ අධ්‍යාපනයට health and parents care affect the education of children children in this zone have lost their parents as a result of chronic kidney disease they are facing massive economic problems as well we want to thank you for looking at this sensitive issue humanely no iti me me sangvedi prashnaya diha itamatma manusiya hitala mema satkarya ලබාදීම සම්බන්ධයෙන් නැවත නැවතත් ගෞරවයේ ප්‍රණාමයේ පුද කරමි අද අපි ගමක් විදිහට අපිට today as a village we can smile this is a very special day for us as the water problem that we thought was incapable of being solved has been solved ජල ප්‍රශ්නය අද අපිට යථාර්ථයක් වී තියෙනවා පොල් පැතල ජලයන් සුරංගනා කතා අපි කියලා තියෙනවා අපි වගේ පුංචි ළමයි ඉන්න දේවල් ලබා දෙනවා කියලා ඒ කතාවල සඳහන් වෙනවා මෙතුමා කරන වැඩ ගැන මුළු ලෝකයම රටම දැනගත්තට මෙතුමා ගැන එච්චර දන්නේ නැහැ palmeni karana thamai even though the country is aware of the works of mr r raja mahendran they do not know much about him as a person he taught us to continuously develop our minds he taught us to seek knowledge he taught us to renew the way we think he taught us to learn something new every day he was 75 or 76 years old when he left us but like a child he learned something new every day he accumulated a wealth of knowledge therefore i believe renewing our minds is very important he respected discipline he was someone who cared a lot about his health he always told me before leading someone else lead yourself first think about a ship in the middle of the ocean think about the captain of that ship if you are the ship you are the captain as well therefore if you are doing something to the ship you are doing it to yourself he is someone who put discipline above everything else he was someone who avoided excessive consumption he believed if one does not have discipline in both mind and body that person is a slave to what he or she is consuming we are not truly free according to his leadership philosophy only a person who maintains discipline is truly free he taught us to strengthen our mind and body but there are many other leaders like that so why is he so special he taught us to strengthen our heart how do we do that he always told us to place our heart and soul with the people if not a famous millionaire living in colombo had no reason to come up with a concept such as gammadd he was subject to a plethora of criticism and insults yet he was not faltered by any one of them from the time he woke up in the morning to the time he went to bed at night he thought of how he can serve the people not only did he place his heart and soul with the people he also opened his heart to the people anyone had the chance to talk to him and learn from him he was a leader like that the gum at the concept was developed by such a leader if you are under the impression that there is no leadership in this country ask the people of this country about gum at the ask universities around the world about gammadda there is a reason behind that many assume that you can become a leader by only arming yourself with knowledge that is not the case especially in sri lanka you need to balance your mind and your body and have a sincere heart for the people the lack of this quality has resulted in bad decisions bringing the country down what special about the founder of the gammadda movement the late mr r raja mahendran is that he did not create followers he was a leader who created leaders therefore gammadda will continue to serve the people keeping in touch with his leadership philosophy enisa r raja mahendran apage divangata gammadda nirmatru ge visheshatwe ohu අනුගාමිකයන් හදපු නායකෙක් නෙමෙයි ගෞතම ස්වාමීන් වහන්ස එතුමන් නායකෙන් හදපු නායකෙක් ඒ නිසා එතුමන්ගේ නායකත්වය ඉදිරියටත් නොකඩවා ගම්මැද්ද හරහා ජනතාවට සේවය කරන්න අප කැප වී සිටිනවා දුන් ගමු එවි දුවලේ අද උත්සවය පිපාසෙට වතුරත් දුන් අලුනේද